this time, let's go ahead and explore blending modes. I already have my document open titled Blending Modes, which you can find in your Chapter 6 folder. What you'll notice on the Layers panel is that I've created two layers. The first one is called Color 1, that's in the bottom of the stacking order, and the second one's Color 2. Let me go ahead and hide the visibility icon for Color 2, and you'll notice that the Color 1 layer has a large rectangle drawn on it, which is kind of a peachy orange color. And I'm going to go ahead and turn back on my Color 2 layer, and I'm going to hide my Color 1 layer. And you'll notice that we have three color stripes, a yellow, an orange, and a bluish turquoise color. And when I turn on the Color 1 layer, nothing changes with those three colors. As we work with blending modes, you may have already noticed that blending modes can be found in different areas. On the Layers panel, we see a drop-down menu where it says Normal. This is the Blending Modes menu. We've also seen them in the Layer Styles menu. If I open up the Blending Options dialog box, we have General Blending, Blending Mode, and it's the same list that we see on the Layers panel. And if we choose a brush, for instance, let me get the Brush tool, the letter B on the keyboard, you'll notice on the Options panel or Options bar at the top of our screen, we have Mode, and there's the list of our Blending Modes again. I'm going to go back to my Move tool, the letter V on my keyboard, and you'll notice by default Normal is selected. The Blending Modes in any of these areas all work the same. What essentially is happening is that you have a base color, in this case, in our example, Color 1 is our base color, it's that peachy color. Then we have a Blend color, that's the color that's being added to the base color. So on our Color 2 layer we have three blend colors, a yellow, an orange, and a turquoise. The resulting color is what is created when you apply a blend. So in this case we have normal, so no blending has been applied. And again, if I hide the color 1 layer, you'll notice that the colors are exactly the same with color 1 on or color 1 off. Okay, let's go to the blending mode menu. Let's choose dissolve. What dissolve does is it creates semi-transparent pixels and then sometimes you'll see a spray of dots. In our case, we don't see a change. So sometimes the blending modes will show no difference depending on what colors are being combined. Let's go back to our menu and try Darken. Darken, the base and blend colors are analyzed, combining the darkest colors. Dark colors on the top, layer remain. The lighter colors on the layer below disappear. So in this case, we see that our three colors, the yellow, the orange, and the turquoise, have been slightly modified with the layer below it, the color on color one. Let's go to our drop-down menu again and let's choose Multiply. Multiply takes the base color and is increased by the blend color. So again, we see a change in colors from our original three colors when we apply the Multiply Blend Mode. And you'll notice, if you look in the Layers panel next to Color 2 at our little thumbnail, you can see the original colors in your thumbnail. Okay, our next blend mode is called Color Burn. Color Burn darkens the image by increasing the contrast. And again, we do see a change in our colors. Linear Burn decreases the brightness of the image, making it darker. So these are just shades darker, or the tone is darker from our original colors. Darker color, you can see our yellow disappeared in this case. The darkest pixels are kept after the base and blend colors are compared. So in this case, the turquoise was darker than the peach, so that remained. The orangish color was darker than the peach, so that remained. And then our yellow was lighter, so it disappeared. Let's choose the next one, which is called Lighten. The lightest pixels are kept after the base and blend colors are compared. So in this case, we actually kept our yellow. And you can see there's a little change in our tint. Screen mode makes the image much lighter by multiplying the opposite of the blend and base colors. Color dodge, the contrast is decreased, thus lightening the image. And as you work with these different colors, any combination you have, you'll notice differences. This is just an example using these colors that I've created. Linear Dodge Add, brightness is increased, thus lightening the image. Lighter color, the lightest pixels are kept after the base and blend colors are compared. And you can see the yellow is that intense yellow that we started with, and the orange and the blue are now gone. Overlay, colorizes grayscale images or increases the contrast. Soft Light, creates a soft light effect on the image, like shining a soft light. Hard light creates a hard light effect on the image, like shining a bright light. Vivid light, the contrast is increased for those colors darker than 50% gray, and decreased for those colors lighter than 50% gray. Linear light, the brightness is decreased for those colors darker than 50% gray, 
and increase for those colors lighter than 50% gray. Pin light combines the lighten and darken modes. Hard mix, the range of colors are reduced to create an image with large blocks of color. Difference, the brightness of the base and blend mode are compared and the brightest pixels are reduced. Exclusion, similar to difference mode but results in less contrast. Subtract, the blend color is subtracted from the base color. Divide, the blend color is divided by the base color. Hue, the lightness and saturation of the base color are kept and adds the color of the blend color. Saturation, the color and luminance of the base color are kept and the saturation of the blend color is added. Color, the base color's luminance is kept and the hue and saturation of the blend color is added. And finally, luminosity. The hue and saturation of the base color are kept and the luminance of the blend color is added. So this kind of looks like one of those color swatches that you would find when you're shopping for paint where it gives you the different shades and tones of one color. So let's go ahead and change this back to normal. And again, these different blend modes will behave differently based on the colors that you're working with. The blends on the two layers are going to be combined and blended with these various blend modes.